In one of my papers, I used the phrase exotic mind-like entities oh. to, 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 to describe large language models. So I think that they are to a Say degree, exotic, exotic mind-like entities. Lovely. So they are, so they are kind of mind-like, and they're increasingly mind-like. Now, there's a very important reason for using the little hyphen "like" there, which is because I, I, I want to hedge my bets as to whether they really qualify as minds, and so I can wriggle out of that problem by just using "mind-like." They're exotic because they're not like us, language use, but in other respects, they're disembodied for a start. There's really weird conceptions of selfhood that are applicable to them maybe but so they are quite exotic entities uh, uh, as well we just don't have um the right kind of conceptual framework and mm. vocabulary for talking about these exotic mind-like entities yet you know we're, we're working on it and um uh, and, and the more they are around us the more we'll develop new kinds of ways of talking and and, and, and thinking about them In one of my papers, I used the phrase exotic mind-like entities oh. to, 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 to describe large language models. So I think that they are, 